you know, you, you can point out if you are a Christian and you know things about some some Islamic things, some Islamic apologies that I don't know. You can point it out. But what I know is that the Christian community have been lied a lot. Yeah, by apologies online on YouTube. Nabil Qureshi came, he finished you, and he's dead, he's gone. And Christian Prince came, and he's trying to replicate, do the same thing. And people are following him, the Christians, because he says he knows Arabic. You know, just this video I saw, he couldn't read. Rewind it. Secondly, CP, isn't it true in chapter 9, verse 31, it says that Allah wants people to take him and Messiah as lords and no one to take him and Messiah as lords and no one else? Yeah, this is actually when, but when, you, when you read the translation, it comes differently. Yes. They say, they take Allah in his, yeah. So in Arabic it says, you know, uh, 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 they are taking their monks and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. But the Muslims in their translation, they put it as they wish and they change it. So they make it, no. They took their monks and their rabbis and Jesus as God instead of Allah. When the fact this is a fabrication. So we are saying the Arabic clearly, because you know the Arabic, the English, we don't know. We he knows that Arabic, English yeah. Speakers for us. You're saying chapter 9 verse 31 says that the Jews and Christians, their mistake was that they took the rabbis and monks as lords besides Allah and the Messiah, meaning that Allah and the Messiah should be their one lord. That's what the Arabic says? Yes, exactly. This is what the Quran is saying. Okay. I'll read, I'll read it in Arabic. Listen, listen, listen. Say online. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أرباب من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إلها واحدا لا إله إلا هو سبحانه Okay, uh, thank you very much. He's, uh, first of all, he read that completely incorrectly, yeah? And yeah. he's reading from the text and he's meant to be a scholar in Arabic, yeah? Okay. So he read that incorrectly. Oh, okay. Oh, he said, uh, In fact, yeah. when we put him on, I'm going to challenge him to read this again. I think we have to. It's we fair, have to because fair, this man fair. here, I'm, do you know what? He's marketing himself as an Arab expert. Mm. However, he makes mistakes when he reads the printed Quran. Okay. Now, uh, forget about it. Me and you, we can make mistakes all day. You yes, know why? Yeah. Because we're laymen. We're we don't, we don't claim, do we claim to be anything? No, uh, no. We don't claim to be. I've never, yeah. have I claimed to be a scholar? No. You claim? no. 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 But if someone came to be a scholar, yes. you know what I'm trying to say? And you yes. can't read the book. I'm sorry, we can't even move forward. I've put a challenge for the Shia in the park. Yes. If you can't read the book, yeah. so you cannot even claim. So let's go now. It's, it's just fair. Let's go to, make sure you guys are, click on. let's go to Skype. Let's go to Skype. Yes. Let's see this individual now. Because the first thing that has to be arranged is that this individual has to read. No, that's that's fair. That's, that's fair, fair because he's saying he's a scholar in the Arabic language. That's fair. If I if I if I say I'm a scholar in the Hebrew language, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. to perform. And this is the thing. So I have to take a stand, and you those who like me for who I am, we can go together on YouTube here, of course. If I'm awkward, I'm weird, what I say is not right, or whatever it is, there's definitely people on YouTube who want to see me being awkward and telling lies. But that aside, this Nabil Qureshi came and lied that he's an ex-Muslim and he got very high uh, positions in the Christian community, apologetic communities. You gave it to him, no problem. And Christian Prince came and he's doing the same thing. But because I'm a Muslim, if I say that, it's because I hate him. Yeah? But if I make any recommendation or say it mentions somebody like Mohammed Hijab or Farid response, they are stupid. So you see what you're saying? You are telling me that me and my people, let's take this class or so I can talk to you. All. You, are, you are telling me that me and the people I listen to, we are dumb. Like the dumbest people that you've ever seen. And you and Christian Prince and David Wood, you are the smartest people alive. You know that's a lie and you are saying it. What, well, like what good does that bring but you know this is this is this is a fact though well maybe not a fact but Sam Shimon said it he said Christian Prince is the teacher of all the Christians the, the Christian apologists so if we are going to look at like 
the, the different Christian apologists, David Wood, Sam Shimon, some of you recommend that I call Sam Shimon too. You know, but why why would we go to the, the, the student if the boss is still alive? Like the boss Christian prince is still alive. So and going to Christian Prince, I thought I would just look into that one question that I actually paused on. I actually said uh he lied about. And that was the the, the thing that Paul is in the Quran. This is driving me nuts, you know. You are trying to tell people that they are lazy. Go and do your research. But your research is not anything than going to watch Christian prints. What, wh why, where have you done your, which university did you do your research at? Which, which, what, what's the name of the degree that you got? You know, I, I mean, that's a good advice. Go and do your own research, Adam. That's true. I would do that. But are you doing your own research? Don't go and listen to Christian friends and come back and then tell me to go and do my research and what not. Because I'm just a very arrogant kid when it comes to these things. You know, if you don't have a million dollar and you're trying to teach me how to make a million dollar. I mean, you can have some good points, but you are not the best teacher to teach me how to make a million dollars. Yeah, that aside. Christian Prince saying Paul is in the Quran. This is the, these are the two criteria. If nobody else, me. That's what I use. If Paul is in the Quran, we need the Quran to say it. And if the Quran doesn't say it, we need Muhammad to say it. If the two of these, like if these two sources don't say it, and then you go to the to the to the to the Quran commentary. And then you take a hadith that you don't know the source and then you say according to this, according to this person. We don't live, we don't live by according to this. Because it doesn't bring according to this doesn't takes the respect out of you. Forget about that. But yeah, if it is not in the Quran and Muhammad didn't say it, it's not true. We I'm going to show I'm going to get you a short clip of Christian Prince with Muhammad Hijab. I know some part of the video I didn't like it because Mohammed Hijab like he got a little angry and was yelling and those things but you know bear with me if you're able to go through that nonsense that I started with up to this point you should probably be able to bear with everybody read with me carefully chapter 36 verse number 14 let us see what they say Paul he never met Jesus Paul is not even, he's a fabricator. Paul, but they're a prophet. He said, Paul to, uh, is a messenger yes, he, of Allah. Yeah. He is sent by Allah. And not only that, he made miracles. All right. Miracles <laughs> in the name of the Messiah, Jesus. Chapter. All right. So, so that's very important, huh? What he just said. He said that, that it says, the Quran says that Paul performed miracles in the name of Jesus. And that, the, okay. and that this is in the Quran. This is supposedly in the Quran. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with this liar? I mean, do, he actually provided a reference. Yes. For any sincere person, just go to chapter 36, verse 14. Where does it say Paul? Where does it say that he performed miracles for the sake? I mean, is this serious thing? Is this a serious thing? I, I can't believe this. Yeah, this, yeah. Guy is, uh, this guy's a liar. I mean, is he a liar? I mean, yes, I mean yes. is he reading it himself? I've 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 seen I've seen multiple examples of him saying this is what this verse says. You go to it's not there. It's absolutely uh, so, he's not there. so he's a liar. So he's like he's a Zabun Flat out lies Zaki, to his audience. Um, uh, does, does, he like, doesn't respect his audience. Like, yeah, it's just it, why would you? I mean, the thing is, do you, do you not think that people are going to open up the book and check? No, no, no. Most people don't. Most people so, don't. I mean, so, so your your arguments are going to have superficial uh, superficiality on it because uh, his, fan base, you know, what, what, his fan base. His fan base will eat anything that he says. You know, they'll eat up anything that he says. And and to him, that's what that's what's important. He doesn't care about the Muslims that are going to look it up. He cares about um, his Christian fan base growing and them um, believing what he says. So so let, let's go on. Let, let's see what he says. He's he's quoting um, uh, Tafsir ibn Kathir. It says, narrated that the following are the names of the three messengers, from Wahab ibn Sulaiman, from Shu'aib al Ja'abi. The names of the first two messengers were Shamoon and Yohanna, and the name of the third was Polos, and the city it was Antioch. Why, you idiot, you keep insulting Paul when the Quran 
and your scholars report him as a messenger of Jesus, and in the same time, he says he the Quran and our scholars. What the hell is wrong with this individual? This is yeah. the thing when you go into Butunul Kutub and you have no understanding what's going on. This guy is a fool. He said the Prophet. Where does the where does it say Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Where did it say the Prophet said that? So so, so it said it says Shu'aib al Jabari. Yeah. Okay, which he misreads as Shu'aib al Jabari. All right. I think so. <laughs> okay. And by the way, but by the way, how how the how the Shu'aib al Jabari. <laughs> you're, you're enjoying this. You're enjoying this too much, man. You're enjoying this too much. Okay, so Shu'aib al Jabari is like an Akhbari who's who's. Uh, like disregarded who's not seen as an authority and who has yeah. some you know opinions about matters that have to do with the kitab and whatnot he's not someone who's taken seriously and however ha, the christian prince is saying that our prophet says this ma that he may be his his prophet maybe his prophet is called shu'aib <laughs> al-jaba'i you know not ours man <laughs> no this guy's a lie he's a joke it's a joke. This guy, khalas, you've lost your credibility after that. You're acting. But this Christian prince guy, he will not read the Quran. I don't know what it is about, but they say he read the Quran wrong and they ask him to read it again and he will not read it. And he's talking about Isha Allah, which is not the topic. Come on, where is, where is he? Not, not me. Not maybe, it's not, maybe it's him, not me. Figure out? Yeah, pick him up. No, is that him? Yeah, yeah, it's probably him. Well, it's not for him doing video because he's not going to show his face. So. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> hello? Hello, hello. Oh, oh yeah. Peace for evil ones. Okay, very nice. Okay, go to Surah al Tawbah and read it in Arabic, please. You're an Arabic expert. We need to hear it. Hey, you know, you know, are you going to make a debate or you are just a kid? Uh, ah. Can you can you read that? You said that. Just, you were asking yeah. the. You know, he did in a, in a video with someone. He did in a video. Okay. He said that I'm an Arabic scholar. Okay, let's 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 let's. let's, let's, let's thank you, sir. Read it, please. Th thank you, sir. Let's not. Uh, can we just? So I can't, can hear, we, I can't, can we, I can't we, hear him. Can we calm down? 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 Calm down, brother. Calm down, my. Sorry, I didn't mean to call him. Let him talk. Let him talk. Christian friends, I challenge you to do this. Okay, uh, are you Chris, finished? Uh, Christian boy, you said you said to someone. Where are you? you where are you? Where are you? Uh, well, are, are we going to have a conversation? Are we going to have a conversation? Where are you? Where are you? Can we speak? Come talk to me. Hello. Can you hear my voice? 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 Where are you? Where are you? Can you hear my voice? I don't know. Can you hear my voice? If you did not call me, can you hear my voice? He missed the boat, Mister Prophet. Hello. Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice? Come to the debate. And by the way, okay. Let him just let him talk. Let him talk. You will never say Insha Allah. What kind of a Muslim? Okay. And he posts in YouTube saying, "I will be better Christian prince by university." Insha Allah. Is it required for a Muslim to say Insha Allah? Yeah. Um, you finish. Can you hear me? I hear you. Oh, okay. Man, man, okay. So this can't be a. Those are a bunch of kids. Look at them. What is the debate? If, we, we, if, if you can, do you want to say something? Allah before he say to me, All right, say what you. Christian friends at 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Can I ask you a question okay. now? So why you keep posting in YouTube? You never say Inshallah. Oh, Inshallah. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Inshallah, Inshallah, Inshallah. Okay. No, no, no. I want you to ask uh, me Inshallah. Now it's too late. Don't you know that your prophet saying? Oh, for God's sake! Say, Come on, seriously. Uh, are we gonna have a conversation? You know, you know when I we, we, you, you, Ali, Ali, let's what let's. Kind of a person, let me tell you, is it true that the one who say a promise without saying Inshallah according What's to that got to do with anything? Come on. Hello, hello. Are we got, let's get into the let's get into let's the crux of let's, let's get in the crux of it. Are you gonna talk over us? Why why are okay, you talking okay. over can us? Can we can we mute him please? Can we, can we mute him for a second? Mute him for a second. Mute. But actually, let, let's also finish with uh uh uh. Let me tell you a little bit about how Nabil deceived the Christian community. Yeah. I'm not I'm not an expert in knowing the sects of Islam or the differences. But James White, who you guys know, hopefully a lot of you know James White. James White was he was on he was sorry, he was uncomfortable hearing Nabil Qureshi trying to say that if 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 he was still a Muslim, he is going to like he can handle it like going not going to help ISIS. I hesitate to say this, but I think it's true. If I still believed in Islam, and if I wanted to be faithful to Muhammad, I would have a hard time not going to Syria right now. 
Dude, ISIS sometimes kills you, dude. Your sect is not considered Muslims because you don't consider Prophet Muhammad as the last prophet. What makes you a Muslim? What makes somebody a Christian if that person don't believe that Jesus Christ is your savior and your Lord and is going to judge you on judgment day? Yeah, if you remember, I, I, I posted a, a, a message that was asking, is, is uh, are Jehovah Witness Christians and are Ahmadiyya people Muslims? And most of you said Jehovah Witness, they are not. And Ahmadiyya, one guy said Ahmadiyya people, they are not too. But that's the thing, Muslims don't consider Ahmadiyya people Muslims. Uh, because like one of the things is that I had they took the word uh, Jihad out of their Quran to fit the standard of what the British government wants and they were they are funded by the British government what up what up what up what, what, what type of religion is this that is like has to be funded by some some outside government or has to be this political and that is where uh, uh, Nabil Qureshi was from he came from this uh, non-Muslim background but he's claiming he's, he's forcing to put himself as a Muslim why does that have to be the case because he wants to deceive you guys and none of you will look like what type of Muslim was this guy Is he, was he really a Muslim Pe people were just consuming these things and they thought he knew everything and he, and he, blah, blah, blah. I even watched one debate actually like he was the only guy and I was like oh man these Christians they are coming up like he was the only guy I thought he could answer like most of the questions about the Trinity. That is very convincing. I mean, a lot of you down there can can, can answer the questions about Christianity. Nabil Qureshi was the one guy that I thought, yeah, yeah, this guy, yeah, this guy knows what's doing. But and at one point that they asked me a question about about the Trinity and Jesus. You know, one of my friends from Nigeria actually answered that question for me, but I said yes to it. I I accepted, but I didn't agree. Like of it was the question was why did Jesus cry like for help I don't know what that why that is in the Bible but they say it is why did Jesus cry for help when he was on the cross and Nabil couldn't answer it I mean you those down there you can you those in the comments you can tell me that oh this is a thing uh, Jesus, uh, God cannot see sin that is why he he he, uh, he could not look at Jesus and Jesus was crying looking for help oh. So you think you know more than Nabil Qureshi, who had like a master's degree, an MD, and was working on his doctor, or his, his, I mean, forget about those doctors and there. He was advanced in studying Christianity and Islam. And he couldn't answer it because it was in a debate. If you ask him somewhere, if it is not in a debate, he will answer it. I mean, we all saw the same video, the, the, the same debate of uh, Mohammed Hijab and David Wood. And most of Muslims think like it was a complete knockout it was like David Hijab was just butchered and ready for sale and the Christians think ooh David would want it hands down so you see we have different thinking it's not facts but our thinking is important let's let's take it that way for now but looking at that debate too you know let's let's be frank David Wood I asked so many questions. I, 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 can't, I can't remember how many they were. But he, he asked a lot of questions. And all of them were answered. I mean, yeah, you, you can say more hijab. He was charismatic. And he was this bragging guy. Talking nonsense. And he didn't answer the questions well. He answered them not so well. David Wood. He didn't answer a single one of four of the questions that Mohammed Hijab asked him. I mean, Mommy Hijab can be dumb, the questions can be dumb questions, but they are about the foundation of Christianity. And if your most respected people, your most respected scholars, they can answer questions when they are in debate, but they have all the answers when they are sitting at home talking to their YouTube, to, to their cameras. And you think they are true, and you take them as gods. Why can't this Christian prince guy show his face? He's lying to you. That's because he's, he, he don't want when he gets into trouble someday that you can trace him. That's why he's lying to you guys. He don't want you to know where he is. And he's, so some of you have excuses for him trying to defend him. I'm not attacking anybody here. But I'm just trying to say th things that I'm seeing that's happening. He, he's trying to say that he, he goes back to his country. So he has to like you know, hide his face. You know, if he goes back, it's going to be trouble and, and why not. If this guy, besides Trump's administration, if this guy comes to America... He's probably going to get 
probably he's going to get irrespective of the, uh, the administration he's going to get like a asylum or something like that that he doesn't have to go back to his home country you if you are really committed to god if you are really committed to serving jesus you will not care about what do you want in your home country why don't you ask those type of questions but because he is somebody who can you know, you know take the loops and then go and find things that, that are like weaker verses that are able to exploit and then bring it. You guys don't want to ask him those questions and then you, you allow him to keep looping and looping more. None of his excuses make sense. If he really wants to prove himself, you know, he can come out, talk, get into the media, let people recognize him, hmm? get recognized internationally, not just by the Christians who, who, who are just down there and then he deceives. And, and then he can come out and then say, hey, Ah, I'm a scholar. I've, I've had my degrees from these places. I've done this, 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 like David Wood. And then he can even ask the Muslims to debate him. I heard that he asked Dr. Zakir Naik, but that wasn't even an ask. Dr. Zakir Naik has his points why he would not debate him. And some of you think it's fear. Whether, it, whether you think it's fear or you don't think it's fear, that's what you think. And that, that's what you think. And that doesn't matter. That's what Dr. Zakir Naik also think. Yeah, he has his different thinking too. But the point you should get is that be, be, be ready with how much ever trust you have in these Christian apologists. You know, me too. I'm ready for them, for the, for the Muslim side. They can deceive you one day. They can, they can get you all confused one day and you'll be, stand, you'll be stranded. David Hood has been asked questions about the Trinity and he's stranded. Nabil Qureshi, stranded. Christian Prince, he's hiding and he's saying things only behind his camera. He should come out for or for like something like a debate with, with a, a Muslim scholar like like Shabir Ali. I heard that there was nice some debate with Shabir Ali, but it didn't come on. And that was probably because of some reason, because some of the Muslims actually recommended not to. Because this this Christian Prince guy, he doesn't talk well. I don't know, I don't know who taught him that. You know, I have a lot of Arab friends, but they don't talk like this guy talks. He's like you you, you idiot, you, you bastard. L let me get you bastard here. Let me, let me get you bastard. So, so, you, your prophet, your prophet have, have uh, Allah, ha have Paul, your, your prophet and Allah has Paul as a, as a respected messenger in the Quran. And, and you idiot, you idiot, you, you are telling me, l l this bastard, let me bust you here. Does Jesus teach you to talk like that? If you want to be true to yourself, why can't you guys advise this guy to, to change the way he's talking? And, be, and when you saw Mohamed Hijab was, was talking so loud in the debate with David Wood, you think he was so like stupid that didn't make any sense. Of course, I don't support that type of debates. But the way Christian Prince is talking, why wouldn't you guys tell him, hey, please, can you come down so you can have a good conversation with these guys? And that is even the low level. He get to an extent where he's asking people, if I do this, Will you breastfeed me? A 14 year old girl and you the Christian scholar who know Jesus, who, who is, is somebody the Christians respect. You are asking the 14 year old girl, if, if you find this verse in the Quran or if you do this, will the girl breastfeed you? Will she take her pants off and breastfeed you? What type of Christian are you? And you guys still find so much value in that person. I mean, he can still have value. But why won't you advise the person to like, stop doing what you are doing so we might be able to progress well, so you might be able to get recognized in the world. Not in the world of filthy people, those people who want lies. Somebody's mouth come out like this and you guys can't, you, 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 you can't, you can't handle the problems within yourself, but you want to tell people what to do outside. How much have you handled within your, like the Christian community, you know? Those people that you trust, they are not, they are not trustworthy. But those problems are not solved. And then you, you know, if Mohammed Hijab has had those problems, or say, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik or Shabir Ali, if any of these guys has had problems of like using bad words in, in, in language or being like sexually not so nice, or, or I say, just telling so many stupid lies, you can get them, right? And they've been in the debates. And let, let me finish this thing about Dr. Zakir Naik. I see my, my talk is going from this place to this place, but just bear with me. Dr. Zakir Naik is not a small guy. It doesn't matter if you trust him or not. Yeah? Because a lot of people trust him. And he has had millions of people listen to him. And what the Christian community wants, the apologies, and this is Dr. Zakir Naik's reason, it is that they want to get popular, like all of a sudden. 
Because if you get a debate with Dr. Zachary Naik, it is going to make you popular. It's not a go and come. It's going to make you popular. That is why he's requesting, if you're already popular, I want, I just gather 2,000 people. And then I'll come debate you. Gather 2% of the people I talk to, or even less. And then I'll come and debate you. Christian, you have more, than, you have over a billion, over 2 billion. And you guys, if you really want, if you really want to like, yes, yes, just get Dr. Sakonai out of the face of the internet, why won't you gather those 2,000 people? 2,000 people is get, see if you up to 1% of 2 billion, is it, is it 0 point? Why can't you get those 2,000 people? But all you can is to sit down and type and then tell people what you don't know. You know, so all I will say is that don't, don't take Christian Prince as a God. I'm going to repeat this again. I know he's the teacher of all the Christian apologies outside, but my teacher, if he's telling me, so my teacher is talking like these nasty things to my sister, telling my sister to take off her panties and breastfeed him, asking him those nasty questions. That teacher is not, uh, that teacher will only be my teacher if I have no other option. That's like, you, you either go here or you are dead. Now follow that teacher. But you guys have a lot of options. I mean, David Wood, Muslim thinks he's not that good. But he's still better than Christian Prince, I would say. I will comment. Why would you allow somebody this with this like this very filthy mouth to be controlling you, the Christian community, teaching you how to do things? And I think he was the very person who taught David Wood how, how to, to debate. And David Wood went to that debate and he was stranded. He's now sitting and they asked him four questions. How can you be a Christian philosopher, a researcher for over two decades? And they ask you like four Christian questions and you can't answer. Anyway. I think this will be the end of the video. See if I can add some clips in between of, of all the nonsense I talked about. And yeah, if you wanna if you wanna be in the channel, you I, I think I have to take a side. I can't be on the sideline because that would that would be a lie. I have to take a side and that's the 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 side that I have to take is that I'm a Muslim and I'm gonna stay in in Islam and then I will do whatever research I'm doing until I find whatever I found. Because none of you outside is doing your research where you're telling me what, how to do my research. And the most painful thing is that you tell me where to go and do my research. You know, you know that is fraud. Do your research. Go to Christian Prince. You know that's a lie and you're still doing it. Anyway, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.